G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and I am so excited to welcome you back finally to Raft, the 1.0 update, the final update finally dropped just this morning for me and I couldn't wait. I was keen as the longest of lima beans to get back in and continue to explore this game that I love oh so very much. Somehow, despite my hiatus, my raft is still here in all of its glory. All my little furry friends. We've got Gazza the goat, Larry the llama. I think it was Barry the bird. You, can, uh, you might be able to see a little trend in how I name things there. But all my little friends up here are, well, they're here, but slightly hungry. So I should probably quickly give you some uh, some crops to nibble on. They're here, but so is the big bag of fin-shaped dicks that is same with the shark. He's floating about in the water somewhere down there as well. But we have a new place to go. We've done the Dome City. We're off to the new content. Oh, I'm just, I'm just keen. I'm so keen. Oh, look at this though. That's a little bit pretty. I've somehow accidentally set up the most gorgeous orchestra piece in the world. Actually, wait, hang on. As all the lights turn on, we can raise the anchor so I can start floating into the sunset. I never actually used the piano last time when I put it down, much to people's chagrin way back when. But now, seeing as we're floating across the high seas and the sun is setting, let's also set the sun on whatever shades of talent I thought I had. How to play. Numbers. Okay, shift goes up. Space line goes down. I gotcha. Dreaming of the sea. I can play this. I can play this. What's this? 767356. Ooh, okay. I like ya. Am I supposed to be holding that last crotch? I'm not sure. Oh, those were, mm, those were semi quavers. I didn't think I did that right, but. I mean, technically I played all the notes, but that is the song. There you go. Look at me trying to soothe the shark to sleep with my sweet talents. Oh God. Nope. Turns out I was going for a cuddle instead. Not your best move. I don't think Sammy works like a teddy bear. If I can't lull him to sleep like a big three-headed dog, I doubt cuddling to sleep would work well for me either. Nice. Okay. Well, we are drifting into oblivion. Am I going the wrong way? I thought that was the bow of me ship. Nope, all right, we're sailing backwards. Oh, well, whatever gets the job done. Oh, uh, we're sailing backwards towards one of the giant islands, which isn't actually the one I need to go to. That was like the one before the dome island, yeah? Okay, well, I need to get back up onto my bridge and start sailing in a more adequate direction. You guys look looking, well, still pretty dreary, actually. You're walking around in a bucket full of food and not doing anything about it. You, turn on. We're going backwards towards... Where are we going? Towards Balboa, I think it is. So Tangaroa was the big dome place. Varuna Point is the new one. Uh, hang on a second. Let me just turn you off. Go drop the anchor before we get ourselves raft wrecked. And just get pointing in the right direction. So where are we going? 7676. No lacquers. I can do that. Not. Oh, Sammy, not now. I'm trying to figure out where the hell I'm supposed to be going. Oh, you... Look at you. Look at you, you bloody aquatic unicorn with a big old horn sticking out of your noggin. Go away. Oh, apparently arrows don't penetrate water. Fair enough then. Right, what was I doing? You. Oh, I've forgotten how to play. I've forgotten how to play. There we go. Okay, let's do this. There we go. 7676 seven, is pointing me two kilometers behind me. So on the other side of the big dick island over here. Bonza. Utterly bonza. It's a long way to go, but I do have the power of engines to get me there. This is going to take me a little bloody while. I'm pretty peckish. Quickly whip up a couple of slices of salmon. Put it down me gullet. All right. Well, anchor up. Engine's on. Let's get cracking. Now we're cooking. Now we're powering along properly. Now the bow of my ship actually is the bow of my ship. Bloody Jack and Rose can get out there and do all sorts of shady shits. You... I need to start rotating you around so I can start winging it around and on. In fact, I want to go full hard to left? Port? I think that's port. I don't know. Clearly not much of a nautical muppet. Spin you around. We'll go around the island. In fact, I think yeah, that side there is the closest side. We'll wing it over there. Just don't want to get myself stranded and have to build my raft from scratch again. My battery is out of juice because I left it on while I was faffing about stabbing sharkies in, or giving them a new blowhole, I suppose. I think I had a spare one somewhere. Uh, you can go away. Wasn't there also like a battery charger I built at some points? It's been so long since I've built this raft, I've kind of forgotten what I've got available to me. I did have another battery, but it is another dead one. 
Right, I guess I'm kind of just sailing blind then for the moment while I figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go. All I need to know is I need to go around the back of this island here though, so I'm swinging it around that way, get myself pointed in generally the right direction, and then figure out how to build myself a battery charger. Such a cool looking island. It took me so long to get through that place. I don't like being back, but at least I know where I am. Here we go, battery charger. Could be connected with fuel pipes. Well, I have a lot of that stuff rocking and rolling around here already, which is a pretty good sign that I haven't built one and placed it down now. Okay, that's fine. I've got lots of spaces to do it then. That's all my stuff up there. This is a pretty good little rig that i got going on here. Proud of myself for actually figuring my shit out for a change. What do I need? Tita four titanium ingots, circuit boards, scrap and plastic. I should have some of that around here somewhere. I've got one. All right, I guess not charging any batteries then. That is a problem. Starting to rain, which maybe isn't great for my sweet grand piano, but it's just there for aesthetics anyway, not for my prodigious talent tickling the ivories. Now, if I can't build a battery charger, I can build just a battery car. That was just like a thing you could make. Simple battery, copper ingot, scrap, and plastic. That should be nice and simple. I know you get like the titanium stuff from like doing treasure chests and stuff like that, which I don't really have any interest in doing right now. If I find it later, then I'll do it then. Give me you. Give me some scrap out of you. There we go. Quickly whip up a simple battery and slap you onto me, uh, my navigational stuff. Way easier. I know it's wasteful. I'll save the batteries to charge them up at a later date, but for now, this will do. So from memory, the blue dots are like, uh, like POIs kind of thing, like story-based stuff. The green ones are just big islands, big regular islands. But the one with the little thing I want it is the one that I need to be going for. Because if I change it, yeah, it's no longer targeting. So that's definitely where I need to be going. We'll just line you up nice and easily and just head in the general direction. Oh, we're about to discover something new for the first time in a long time. And I am frothing at the gills to get there. Oh, not even the gods pissing on my face can dampen me spirits now. I spy a little raft on the high seas out there. There may not be any survivors, but there might be some surviving loot. And we all know which one I'd rather have on board me ship. Let's go and have a little squeeze. You can now be turned off to save battery power. Just because we're wasting resources doesn't mean we can waste power too. No, go, go more that way. More that way. More harder support. There we go. I'm learning my left and right. Good on me. And get rid of the drop the anchor. Maybe they've got some titanium for me that I wasn't expecting. Didn't quite get as close as I was hoping to, but that's all right. Just drop the anchor. Yeah, you guys just have a bit of a, a bit of a fit when I do that, but you're fine just to stay there for now. Have a little slurp. Or do you waste fuel if I'm off swimming about in the deep while you're trying to turn your props? I might just try and like turn off you. Turning things off is a specialty of mine. I've got lots of experience doing so. Turn off both of those. All right. <laughs> Sammy's out here trying to protect it, but that's not going to work for you this time. Can I use you to fight the uh, to fight the shark? I'm not sure. It's a machete. We'll see how we go. Bit of a long swim. I don't know where my spear's gone, but whatever. Look at ya. Look at ya. Like a big angry torpedo. That's fine. That's fine. I'll deal with you in a second. I'm just here for the shiny things. No, nope, nothing. Couple of stones, a bolt, and some goo. That was about as disappointing a loot as there could possibly be. So, all right, never mind then. Back to the ship we go. Oh, I hope the machete works. We're about to find out. No, nope, didn't work. Machete is for vines, not animals. Sorry, never mind. Not going to try that again. Get myself back on target again. Now, I did see in this new... Oh, Sammy, really? Oh, it's a tough shot. Save the raft. There we go. Can turn you into an aquatic porcupine in no time. I did see, as part of the new update, there was like a, um, what was it? Like a, an engine control thing somewhere? Receiver? No, it's not in here, steering wheel. That's all fine. Or, actually, come to think of it, was it like a, a thing I can research now? There's my research table. Let's have a little look-see through my book. You... Recycler, learn that. Juicer, learn that. I can now just learn how to make the machete. Lovely, lovely. Drinking glass. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. Engine controls. You need titanium. I can just learn everything. Just learn everything. Look at that. Got all the stuff going for me, including advanced collection heads. That uses titanium too, which I have none of. 
Well, it was a nice idea, but I don't think it's going to work out for me very well. Given I need six titanium ingots, so we'll just put that on the back burner in case I ever stumble across another couple of them. Because, yeah, having, like, engine controls up on my bridge up here, not having to run downstairs and turn off my engines when I need to, that's the dream. That's what I'd love. Just going to have to wait a little while. There is something on the left of the screen. Very close to my face cam just there. There is a big C crane or something. Something is on the horizon, and I want to know what it is. This one, I'm heading in the right direction, though. Is that going to be... I <laughs> missed a lot of barrels. There's a lot of flotsam in these oceans. Is this the place I'm actually supposed to be going, though? Yes, it is. Sammy's getting really excited about it as well. Can you stop, please? Go away. I'm heckin' thirsty. Put some fluids in me. Gonna be well hydrated and well nourished for my new adventure. Oh, I'm tingly. I can feel the fizz. I'm so keen for this. Look at that. It's like, what? They're trying to rebuild civilization out on the top of the new sea level. I mean, now we're getting somewhere at least. This might be a bit of a bigger raid than I was really anticipating. I thought it was gonna be somewhere like, well, <laughs> stupidly, something rather quick and easy and something just to get my fangs into before I get too distracted with other shiny things. But that's definitely a serious bit of kit. Uh, I'll just grab all of this stuff out of here. Just keep my nets nice and empty. I really like how my raft has worked out. It's come together like a peach. I've had a little snooze so I can get a better look at whatever I'm coming up on. No idea where I'm supposed to kind of sail into, but I'm going to go for this little gap right in the guts of it. What better place to be than right in the middle of everything? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? What do we have here? Oh, this is both ominous and exciting. Is that a massive zip line down there too? From the top of the crane to the other side? So I guess then... Oh, I see. I see. Wait, hold your horses. Oh, I'm too far gone now. I'm too far inside. Reverse the engines. I need to get over to there. That's clearly where I'm supposed to be. This is going to take some real delicate sailing, but slap on me captain's hat and let's give it a whirl. Start spinning around there. I, I think, yeah, there's a bit of a ramp on the far side of it. So if I just make sure I don't crash my bow directly into the building, which should be okay check my lines that's the whole reason i have these kind of like watchtowers over here that looks good a little bit more all the way across i've done that about as well as a muppet like me possibly could right about there drop the anchor turn off the engines look at that i'm right up on it yes i might have crashed into it just a little bit but listen any crash you can walk away from is a good landing by my stretch that's good enough. That'll work. I can jump right off my little balcony over here. My little, um, sight geezer over here. It's definitely the word for it. Whatever. Onto them. Although those look like very big bird's nests, which might not bode well for me. I guess before I go, I'll probably need a zipline tool, given there was that big old beam going across from one building to the other. So I'll whip up one of those. Might need a couple of these things as well. I think I have some shears somewhere around here that I can quickly go and harvest up uh, buddy Gary the goat and Larry the llama's fur and use it for good things. Got a bunch of it in here already. I'll grab you. Don't know where my, um, watch for God. Don't know where my shears have actually got to. I'm sure I can make some more if I need to, though. Going somewhere big and scary, having some armor probably isn't the worst idea in the world. I was going to use most of my wool, but that's okay. I've got more upstairs if I need it. It's constantly regenerating, I promise. Ooh, a backpack wouldn't be a bad idea either. Let me quickly grab some ropey boys. Chuck these on first so I can actually wear it all. Grab you. Backpack, make one of you. Slap you on as well. Oh, look at all the extra space. That's not more like the ticket. Right, so all I need now is just a bolt, and then I think I'm pretty good to go. I've wasted most of a day, though, just getting prepped for the big adventure I'm about to go on. Zipline tool. You can hang out up here with the rest of my stuff as well. Is there anything else I really desperately need? I'm not sure. I've got a whole bunch of arrows. Sammy's eating shit again. Get your big melon off me raft. You weren't invited at the best of times. Definitely not now when I'm prepping for something scary. Try and use one of my dead batteries to make a headlight. Make it all worthwhile. Slap you on. Oh, that's going to wear you down just by having you there. Oh, and it replaces my helmet too. Okay, something to keep in mind for later then. I've got my oxygen bottle, my flippers. I've got everything I could possibly need out of my equipment. The sun has set, so let's have a little kip, and then we'll set foot on dry land again. 
I'm very worried about all the terry pterodactyls that are going to be floating around up there. I'm not a good shot on the best of days, let alone when I'm panicking. All right, got some steaks. I think I'm about as good as I'm ever going to be. Got some chooks, got some steaks, got some fluids, got a spear and my bow and arrow. So I guess if worst comes to worst and I miss all my shots, I still want to have a slim chance of getting something done. Get up to here, please, before Sammy comes a nibbling. He's down there somewhere. He can't be trusted. <laughs> Neither can my athletic abilities or lack thereof. Okay, please don't go badly for me immediately. I like this place so much. I don't want to bin it straight away. What? Oh, so stupid little ratty things. Hold on. Hold on. Get your crouch on. Good shot by me. Managed to clock him in the clacker. We'll follow it up with a cheeky bit of poking, though. Come on. Come on, Radis. No, no, Rattata, calm down. Oh, you're a hoppy boy like a Joey shagged a rat at some point. Ah, uh, still got you covered though. Just gonna try and do the YC and give it a nice wide old berth to see what I'm actually dealing with around here. Right, well that would have been slightly easier for me to pull up next to, given I wouldn't have had to chuck a U banger and crash my raft into the building. But whatever, we're here now. We'll just deal with it as best we can. Anyone else coming to have a little nibble on me shin bones with your giant beaver teeth? No? No one? Any secrets? Sure, there's got to be some secrets here. Where's all the shiny things? Oh, look at that, though. There's definitely something in there. Can't get into the foreman's office. Probably having a little kip in there underneath his desk like his George frickin' Costanza. So, just get up this way. This is giving me big flashbacks to the construct construction site skyscraper POI in Seven Days to Die. I feel like I'm doing that all over again, but it's significantly more damp than it normally is. Any more radishes around? Any more ratatas? Mm, no, can I take this though? It's like a peewee dozer, but I'm here for it. Chuck that on me, Raph. Imagine getting all the loot out of the ocean with that bad boy. Is there like a ladder? Oh, jeez. There's not a ladder, but there's definitely some platforming waiting for me in not too long, and I am not thrilled at the prospect. I have a pretty significant talent for breaking my legs in any given situation. Asking me to platform that high up just isn't going to bode well for anyone. How do I get up and out of here, though? Do I use the sick as crane? Go up here. This might work. Up to here. <laughs> well, knees. It's been fun having you. You're about to get turned into several thousand splinters. You're looking a little bit angry, though. Can I pop you from here before I get over then? The last thing I need is to miss, but is also to start celebrating my sweet parkour skills. Or do they have this little <laughs> yowie bastard over here come and ruin my day? Where's your noggin? Not quite. Not quite. Stay still. Get right there. Right down the eye socket. That's perfect. Over. Ah, shit! Ah, damn it! Here we go. Made the second jump. Then we're going to try with the last pill. Oh, sh oh! <laughs> oh, that was a little bit of a pucker. Oh, man. I'm now chewing on my seat cushion that never even got past me bloody front teeth. Oh, man. Right. Okay. We're back to the next bit. That was terrifying enough. What else is around here then? This is the bit I was worried about. Get some sprints on. Up and over. There we go. Nice. No turning back now, but I also don't see any more of those big tooth bastards coming for me. Is that a jump I can make? Or am I supposed to go? Oh, here we go. No, go a different way. Oh, if I had a chance with that and fall into my death, I wouldn't have given up. Spent the next half an hour of my life trying to make an impossible jump. Anyone here? Who's making this big ass rat's nest though? Oh, oh, you it might be you, but hang on, hang on. There we go. As long as I keep backtrack, it will be okay. You might hop, you might skip, and you might jump all over the place. But you can't get better than a big old pointy stick. If I didn't know better, I reckon that is a boss fight arena. If this is the last update they've done, that has full release, and this is the last POI you go to, surely that's going to be a boss fight arena. And given all the hints of some giant pterodactyl dinosaur floating about with these big old nests over here, I imagine it's going to be a pretty bad time for me. Oh, do I keep pushing? I just want to know what's in that, though. I'm, my interest is so piqued. Oh, God. Oh, God. How did I not die? How did I not die? I was just having a little larrikin around, looking at bloody Sammy down here, flipping his flippers and careening through the water. And I've yeeted myself off a building. All right, that might, that might have to do it for me for now, then. I can't go and fight a boss fight. I was just kind of worried that I don't have enough materials on me. Got 17 arrows. I'm going to need more. 
I've also carrying stuff I don't really need right now. I need to do a bit more prep work before I can do that. Now I've just like shattered my shin bones. Oh, jeez. I need to get back on my raft, back where I feel nice and safe, and come back to this. The sun's going down. Let's have a little nap that we can get back up there and get onto the boss fight nice and quickly. Oh, come on. Go to sleep. Look, it's already dusk. Just get a nice early night so we can start early tomorrow. <sighs> Just fine. Fine. I'll wait for you then. Just keep on cooking my stuff. First thing tomorrow, though, it's death incarnate over there. All right, here we go. The sun's coming up, but I'm up nice and early, ready to get cracking on. I've got lots of arrows, I've got my spear, and I've got full hopes and dreams. Whichever goes well for it, we'll see how this goes this time. Here we go. Up the pallets, up the crane, and off to whatever's waiting for me. If I die, so be it, but at least we're given it that reddest and hottest of cracks. I don't want to talk about how long it took me to get back up to the crane again. It was not a masterclass in parkour ability, but eventually we did manage to get here. The sun's a little higher in the sky than I wanted it to be, though. Big old shade cloth. Now, I did find a note along the trip here that was like, hey, some dude went up the top. Here, you can pause that and read it if you want to, but someone went up the crane with a satellite dish, calling his little radio for Astrid. So... Maybe we'll find someone up here. I can just flat out use the crane. Oh, interesting. Wait, is that going to drop all the gubbins? If I park my raft underneath, do I get cool things? I doubt it. I'd probably just break my raft, but use you. Use. How do I use you more? Do you need more things? Mm, bananas only. Author authorized bananas only. In. Pull the lever. Pull the lever, Kronk. Well, there's no wrong lever for me to pull. Let's send Eastman down to the piranhas, piranhas, even. What do you want from me? Oh, requires one crane key. Okay. Interesting. Requires zipline tool. Well, I have one of those. So do I get the crane key from whoever's waiting for me at the boss fight over there? That would make the most amount of sense. Have a little squiz up the tippy top, though, because we always need to. Pick up item. What was that? Cooked bead, a cheeky snack, don't mind if I do, and old mate's entire life's memoirs. Ooh, you got a whole lot of stuff going on here, don't you? Electric grill. Can't read your notepad. Can't take anything else from him. Yeah, the crane key's definitely down behind a boss fight, isn't it? Dang. Ooh, sneaky deaky. A scrap hook and another metal spear. Thank you. Is there anything else up here for me? Can't open you. I am on the very tippy top of the world, as high up as you can possibly get. Can I use my zipline tool on you? Mm, no. Okay. You, you're, not a, you're not a real wire. You're just faking it, pretending to be. The bloody slack line over there that's going down at the steepest angle known to man I can zipline. But that nice one that's definitely made for it? Yeah, nah, mate. Not happening. All right, that's enough faffing around then. Let's get on the old zip line and see what's waiting for us. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I need to equip it, don't I? Equip you. No, nope, on you go. There you are. Get your spear at the ready. Oh, what are we sliding into? G'day. G'day, g'day. How's it going? What do you know? A strike a bleeding light. Who's here and where's me crane key? Have I missed something? Because I'm I'm here and I'm ready to box on with whoever's coming for me, but there's not really anything happening. Has someone left the crane key in the old portal mm, Nope, nothing in there. Okay. I feel like something's wrong here. I, this feels like there's supposed to be something happening, but it's all empty and deserted. I've looked everywhere. I've looked high, low, and everywhere in between, and I haven't found a single sausage of a clue of what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Maybe old mate in the journal can tell me something. No, T's for journal. Not that one. That one there. What do you want to tell me? Uh, crude stuff. But still good in the morning. We're so freaked out. They sailed away immediately. Hilarious. So the grabber's nicking people's gubs. I understand. But like, so does this have something to do with it? Danger of death. Well, not to me right now. How do I get you working again? How do I... What? Hmm. What am I missing? Well, I've got to get back to my raft, I suppose. So let's quickly whip on the old... I don't need you anymore. Uh, yeah, get you off and put on my flippers. I'll hold on to my water bottle for now, just in case I need it later on. Get my spear out for Sammy and... Well, there's lots of... Si there... Ah! 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 Shit! What's happening? Things are shaking and bad things are happening. Oh, there's so much more than I thought. 
There's like spicy jellyfish all over the place. I was like, oh yeah, I'll just have to swim back to my rafts. Oh my god. Okay. So there was nothing for me there. It all happens underwater. I was just going to swim back to my raft and try and figure it out later. I'm very thirsty. Let me quickly, just, <laughs> despite being underwater, have a little drink. Have a little snack. Holy crap. That's going to take so much more than I was expecting. Fuck a duck and pluck its feathers. That's a whole lot more. Ugh. Ugh. Things are vibrating and not in any sort of good way. Just, can I, I just want to get in and have a look. Oh, you dicks. You're actively blocking my path. You're like, oh, 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 wait on. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. Okay. So what now? I like how the sentient jellyfish out the front were like, no, no entry. Ah, listen, we can't, we can't stop you. I smiled and giggled at him to let me in without checking my ID. Is there anything in here? Nope, just M. So... Where do I go? In fact, I probably should. It's probably about the right time to whip on one of these bad boys and get myself some extra breathable goodness. Oh, I guess some more air there too. All right. This might be a bigger thing than I was anticipating. What is that? It's a bloody angle. Oh, there's an angle fish down here. I didn't get drawn in by the light. I just wanted to have a little like, gander at your eyeballs and see what you got for. We got about 18 fucking thousand of them. Go away, you big tooth knob jockey. Nope. No, get off me. Oh my god, he hurts. He hurts. Get up and out and just avoid that. Uh, right. Range is probably key here. Fire your bow and arrow underwater. I don't know how that makes sense, but apparently... No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. There we go. Pick you up. What are you going to give me? An anglerfish head, some raw meat, my arrow back. Oh, that was a lot. Listen, I'm not brave enough for this right now. I'm going to go back, pick up my item, another cooked bead. Thank you very much. I appreciate the snacks. Hit the gap while the jellyfish are split apart. There we go. And just get back to my raft and try and take stock. Because it's now night time. We've discovered a whole extra area that is terrifying as balls. This might have to wait till tomorrow. Oh, Rafty. Rafty goodness. Nowhere else I'd rather be. Good to be back on safe land. Quickly just water my animals to make sure that they're as happy as they can be. Old mate, Gaza, Baza, and Laza. Just, just tickles me ever so much. So there you go. I'm going to have to leave this here, come back and explore the rest of the underwater nightmare city I've stumbled upon. <laughs> the new update for Raft, the final update for Raft is here. And I'm just peeking about it. Absolutely peeking about it so bloody much. Had to turn on my like diagnostics there for me because I got a little bit iffy. But... We managed to make it through. So, I'm going to leave this episode here and come back and continue my adventure for the end of Raft in another episode because this episode is done. So, thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.